Hi, welcome to this vlog. I've got the week off work this week. I've got it off as booked holiday. Not that I'm actually going anywhere, but I thought I would take the opportunity to vlog this week as there's quite a few things I want to do, such as today we're actually going to Ikea to pick up a bookshelf. We've got the big Billy bookshelf from Ikea and we want to get some smaller ones um, and then we're gonna hopefully paint them this week. So that is the aim. And oh my God, I'm so hot. <laughs> I'm gonna have to take this off. It's like I can't decide what to wear. Like I'm like, I'm hot and cold at the same time. Um, but yeah, just before we go to Ikea, I wanted to open a few packages with you because I've just had a H&M package come. Also, can we just appreciate how cute this mug is? I bought it from Berry Loon, which is a local shop to me. And I think they have an online store as well, but they do loads of really cute, like unique mugs. I think this one is adorable. Right, let's get on with the H&M parcel. First off, I've got this linen tablecloth. A while ago, I bought a linen table runner um, and it was too short for the table. So I'm hoping that this one will cover the entire table. Oh my God. I think this is the thing I was most excited for. This is a candlestick. How? I can't even see it. You can see it over here. There's like a matching one that's smaller and it's beige, but I think it's out of stock at the moment. But yeah, I just thought that would be adorable. Maybe on the bookshelf. <laughs> I've got a few of these like ceramic plates. Um, I don't even know what else you call them. They're kind of like decor plates. And I thought they looked really, really cute. They might be bigger than I thought they were. Okay, this is the first one. Um, and they're all kind of these like squiggly decor plates, but they look so good together. I feel like on their own they kind of look a bit, I don't know, but together they look really cool. That's the beige one. There we go, that, this is the kind of size I was expecting. Maybe I'll put them somewhere a bit later, but as you can see, <laughs> if you start to put them together they look really, really cool. These are beautiful. Yeah, so this is the, the same colour as the smaller one, I think. Yeah, I just thought these were adorable. I'm really excited to try and start style piece <laughs> to put these somewhere and see what they look like. And then I also have a package from Bondi Sands as <laughs> I created some content for them on Instagram, um, which they didn't ask me to. Um, I just created some reels and a post, um, and they all just wanted to thank me for doing it, so they sent me a couple of bits. Um, which they let me pick. So yeah, I've been really enjoying the bits that they sent me. So I really wanted to try the Sunny Days SPF moisturiser and this has got SPF 50. And then I also got the Eye Spy Brightening Eye Serum which has got vitamin C and green coffee beans. So yeah, thank you so much to Bondi Sands for sending me those. I'm really excited to use them. Um, as they were like, when I got sent the other products, I was like, I went online and I saw these and I thought, I kind of want to try these too. Okay, so we are just going to head to Ikea now and I will take you along with me. If anyone is wondering, my lip combo has literally been the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk and then the Refi Lip Gloss. It's just been a stunning combo and I've also definitely put quite a lot of blush on today. Um, but yeah, I've just been loving a subtle lip liner and a clear lip gloss. I just think it looks beautiful. We have just gotten back in the car. As you can see, we've got the bookcases right here. And we also picked up a few kitchen bits as well. Basically, the plan is to build these today, hopefully, and possibly start sanding them and priming them because, I mean, we've got a week to do it, but I am hoping that all three bookcases will be painted by the end of the week. Because <laughs> I just want, I just want to start filling it. That's basically the most exciting part. Also, um, I don't know how people film in the car all the time because this is just, awkward like i feel awkward filming in a car park 
So as you would have seen, we got two bookcases, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, but the other things I got, let me just take those out. Uh, we got this, which is you, you attach it to your bathroom because uh, currently we don't have anywhere to put our toothbrushes. So I got that. Um, these two little trays um, for bathroom storage. Those were 50p each. Those were really, really good. Um, these to put hot pans on, which I really feel like we've been missing for the kitchen. So those will be very useful. Um, I did not need this, but I thought it was so cute. It's like a beige thermos slash um, coffee cup. I thought that was really cute. And then last but not least, definitely not essential, um, this like beige mixing bowl which I just thought was so cute. Um, we have some mixing bowls, but definitely not one this big um, and with a handle as well. So I thought that was quite nice. So it is the next day and I just wanted to show you the shelves fully built. Um, so yeah, they are two small um, Billy bookcases. And at the moment I have filled them just so I had an idea of where to put the shelves. But yeah, today's mission is to fill in these holes and hopefully do two coats of primer. Um, but yeah, I really love how the two bookshelves look together. I think they fit really well in this space. And then yeah, this is an example of the kind of decor that I put in it, which um, I love. I definitely, there's definitely some pieces I want to get online. I do think it looks really cute. And then I did say I would show you how I kind of decorated these plates from H&M. I'm obsessed with them. I love them so much. I think they look so cute. I did kind of have like books going on here before, but I think I much prefer this kind of candle display. I'm obsessed with this candlestick holder. I honestly think you can just get the most affordable but good quality home decor pieces from H&M. Like something like this would be like 20, 30 pounds from Etsy, but H&M eight pounds. So yeah, I do love H&M. You do need to steal things up quick though. Also don't mind me, I'm deciding to have a makeup free day, uh, but I've also just had an ASOS parcel come through, so I think I'm going to do a little try on haul. I did contemplate doing an ASOS haul. However, I think I might just do a little haul on here for you. I've just put on this gray top that's mine just because I've bought quite a few pairs of trousers, but I've been on the hunt for a pair of white linen trousers for quite a long time. And I really like these. I find it quite hard to find a pair that aren't really see-through. When it comes to white linen trousers, they're always gonna be a little bit but I don't think these ones are too bad. Um, they fit really nicely around the waist as well. So I really like these. These are definitely a contender. They're a tiny bit long, but could always get them tailored. Then have this pair of low-waisted cargos. I really wanted a pair like this kind of khaki color. Uh, I do really like them, but I think I might have got them too small. I feel like you can kind of see that around here. Um, I feel like these won't be comfortable to sit down in, sadly. I do really like the style, but I'm thinking I might need to order these in a size down because yeah, they're just a little bit too tight, but I do love the style of them. Then have these linen trousers. Now I do already have a pair of linen trousers, but they are like a drawstring waist um, and they're quite, they're kind of cropped at the ankle and straight leg, whereas these ones obviously have a lot more length to them. So even though I do already have a pair of linen trousers, I do get so much wear out of them in the spring that I would be tempted to have another pair and they are different. Yeah, let me know what you think. I do really like these. They're just a little bit too long. Very similar style to the white ones, if not literally the same, but a different color. Uh, but I really do like the style of them. So these are some cream wide leg jeans. They're actually from the brand Dr. Denim and I really, really love them. At first I thought they fit perfectly, but then I realized there's actually quite a lot of uh, space at the back. So they're not quite tight fitting around my waist, but I do really love them. 
The thing is though, it's kind of perfectly fitting in every other area but my waist. So I have a bad feeling if I was to size down. Possibly might size down, but I have a bad feeling it then just wouldn't fit as well everywhere else. So let me know what you think. I do think they look really, really cute. But at the same time, I think they might be a little bit too cropped. I'm not too sure. Oh my God, these fit so nice. I love a pair of gray trousers um, and I have a couple in my wardrobe. However, I don't have like a flowing pair of gray trousers. That sounds a little bit weird. They're either quite structured or kind of end at the ankle or their straight leg. But honestly, my favorite style of trouser is one where it kind of flows, like a flowy trouser. I don't know what you'd call that. <laughs> so I do really like these. Again, though, we're gonna have the same issue of it's quite long and I have tailored a few trousers in my wardrobe before, but I feel like I'm starting to reach the stage where I have to tailor all trousers in my wardrobe. I just don't know if I wanna be keeping this many pairs of trousers that I need to tailor. Or I could just deal with how long they are, but they fit beautifully. I am honestly such a trouser girl. I was looking through my Instagram photos the other day and I was like, why do I just live in trousers? <laughs> a while back, I bought these shorts in an ASOS haul and they were way too big. So I've now bought them in a smaller size and I love them, they just need an iron. And I didn't actually realize this, but I honestly think these are literally the short versions of those linen trousers. They are the exact same, just one short and one trouser. So no wonder I love them both so much. Yeah, I just don't have any, I literally have denim shorts in my wardrobe and that's it. I don't have any other kind of shorts. So I would love to have a pair of linen shorts in my wardrobe and these just need an iron, but they are really, really lovely. I would just say like these are a UK four and I'm usually a six or an eight. So you will probably need to size down in these. So we now have a knit midi skirt or is it a midi? midi slash maxi uh this is from under the stories and i picked one up from under the stories uh last winter very similar to this although i think it was a little bit more uh, of a pencil knit midi skirt um and i really regretted not keeping it and then it sold out i know i really do want a knit midi or maxi skirt in my wardrobe but possibly it's just the wrong time of year i'm not too sure would i probably get too hot in this at the moment Probably. Right, I'm more aware than ever that this outfit isn't a vibe. So we're just gonna have to ignore that. I saw someone the other day wear this jacket and I was in love and I managed to hunt it down on ASOS. I love the color. It is, it's a nude and I feel like it's not showing like that on camera. I feel like it's looking a bit greeny on camera and it really isn't. <laughs> like it's a nude, I promise you. And I kind of felt like I didn't have many spring jackets so i wasn't sure what size to get because it does say it's oversized so this is a uk8 i don't know if it's a little bit too big or is it just too boxy for me i'm not too sure i might try it with a few other outfits because i do really like it i just feel like it's looking a bit boxy on me and maybe the way she was wearing it just looked a bit cooler but i do like the jacket i just don't currently like it on me but i might try and make it work it is really cool and it's a really nice thick quality but maybe i need to size down i'm not too sure we then have a trench which i was not expecting to like as much as i do uh i think i managed to get this in like the smallest possible size so like a uk2 or something uh because i always find asos trenches especially are always just way too oversized so i got the smaller size I think this is really cute. It's very thick, a very thick canvas material. I really like it. I feel like it just looks like your classic trench coat, uh, which is exactly what I wanted because I have one in my wardrobe at the moment, which is not classic at all. And it's a very like, it's a stone color as well. So this is very cute. Okay, and then this is one of those <laughs> quilted jackets that I feel like everyone and their mum has. Um, and I managed to find it in this beautiful colour. I feel like most people get it in like a green. Um, and green is just really, it's really not me. So I got this one, which I love the colour. I just don't think, I don't know. Again, I'm probably just wearing it with the wrong outfit. Because I'm just, I'm just putting it on what I was already wearing. It is just a lot of material. I'm not too sure. I feel like the other two were probably a bit more me. Okay, so I decided to pair this jacket with another outfit to give it one more chance. So yeah, I thought with a pair of jeans, hair up, I thought it suited it quite nicely. I do really like it. I do, I just, honestly, I am a little bit hot in it right now. So I definitely think it is an autumn transitioning into spring jacket. Wait, did I say autumn tra transitioning into spring? I mean, winter transitioning into spring. 
um i do really really like it i think it's really cute i just i don't know if it's my style i do really like it but yeah let me know what you think i almost forgot about this shirt which i think is actually from monkey um but yeah i've had this shirt on my wish list for quite a while and it's just this short sleeve like boxy shirt which i thought could be really cute for the spring and summer i do really like it however i do have a blouse which kind of gives the same vibes but it's a little bit more feminine and i'm just trying to think if i would wear this over that one but at the same time i do think it's really cute i'm actually kind of imagining it with a pair of denim shorts which would kind of be adorable so yeah let me know what you think but i do have something a little bit similar to this um but at the same time i do really like it This is what just came through the post. I ordered it from, what's it called? White Lines Co on Etsy. Love supporting an Etsy business. But yeah, I really wanted one of these kind of marble effect um, chains for the coffee table initially. Um, I'm not too sure if I'm gonna put it on the coffee table now though. I think it's a little bit too much. I might, I'm not too sure where to put it anymore. Okay, we'll put it there for now but um yeah i just thought it was quite cute and i've wanted one for quite a while so yeah i really love that I definitely think it was worth the money i think it was about 25 pounds and honestly if you're looking for like the most affordable option some people are selling these for like 40 on etsy so this one was definitely the best um price option So it is Wednesday today and we've just done the first coat of the bookcases. I think they're actually looking really nice. Um, these are the ones for the living room and this is the office one. Um, so yeah, we just need to wait for this to dry and then we can do a second coat. So we are just about to head out um, to do some package returns and do a food shop as well, just while we wait for the paint to dry. Um, but I'm so excited to see it when it's finished. I just think it's gonna look so good, hopefully the second coat will be dry by the end of the day so that we can start to fill the shelves. Please excuse my outfit. This is my painting outfit today. <laughs> um, I look like Mrs. DIY, but um, I literally just got on a gray t-shirt, gray joggers, and then I just threw on a denim jacket because we're going out. So I think it kind of looks cute though. So I just wanted to show you after the second coat, this is what it's looking like. How beautiful does it look? I love the colour. It's looking quite good. And then this is this is the one for the office. So yeah, I'm really excited to put these back where they're supposed to be and fill them back up. So this is the finished bookcase. It is the next morning. I'm obsessed. Look how cute. I'm trying to get the whole thing in frame. I'm obsessed. I'm trying to remember what this paint was called. I think it was called Soft Putty from Wilco. Um, and then this vase is from H&M. This chain is from Etsy. Uh, this is from H&M. Print and frame is from Desenio. Candle is Primark. Um, Candlestick is Primark. This is H&M. Um, I got this book from Amazon. That's from Primark, and then 
this other candlestick is from H&M as well. Um, this isn't exactly what I'd fill it with, but at the moment I don't have all the things I want to put in it. But, um, oh, and then my Joe Malone candle as well. But yeah, I'm loving this. And then, like I said, we did the one in the office as well. Yeah, I won't go into it too much, but I do think it looks so much nicer. And I think, like, everything stands out a lot more, which is really nice. But you know what? I will tell you where the things are from. Uh, these bookends are from Home Base. Plant Bot is from H&M. Uh, these are from Primark. Uh, the vase is from H&M. This is from Primark. I love this. I don't think it looks like Primark at all. Uh, this is a candle from Melody Mason. Books are from Amazon. Uh, lipstick holder from Amazon. Uh, donut vase is H&M. And the matchsticks are from Zara. Um, books are a mix of H&M and uh, Charity Shop. Yeah, I just think it looks so, so good. I'm just going to be doing my makeup now, I think, as I've got a friend coming around for the day, so I'm probably not going to be vlogging too much. Um, you know what? I thought I'm not going to be doing a massive makeup look, so I thought I actually might. It's a little bit hot. Um, I just might show you what I'm going to be putting on today. So I'm first going to put on the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. I love this, like just having moisturised skin days. I'm not wearing too much makeup. This also smells so nice. It just smells like rose. I just love anything that smells like rose or rose flavouring. I love. And then I've got this new product, which is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Sunscreen. I tried this out yesterday and I really, really liked it. I think this is an unpopular opinion. I've heard mixed reviews on this, but I really got along with it. A lot of people said it pills. I haven't found that yet. I'm not sure if people mean when they do like a full face of makeup that it pills. But yeah, a lot of people say that it pills for them, but it doesn't for me. So I've really been getting along with it. And then just going to put on a little bit of brow gel with my Refi brow gel. I'm then going to go with my Tarte Creases Concealer and a Rare Beauty Blush in Hope. I've been loving using like the blush um, concealer hack. Um, I don't know about anyone else, but I just feel like it looks really flawless. Got to get some of my setting spray. So there we go. My probably best tip for the blush concealer hack is to make sure the concealer is near like the corner of the eye, so that the blush isn't going all the way to the corner of your eye. Um, yeah. So that's kind of what I do. And yeah, that's kind of been my no makeup makeup look recently. <laughs> so it is Sunday it is getting to the end of the week I'm sorry I haven't been vlogging much the last couple of days but honestly I've just kind of just been having some really chill days today I'm just about to go out and do some outfit content this is the first outfit which is a linen jumpsuit from Topshop which I love the bag is ASOS and then I'm wearing some coach loafers as well sorry that the room is such a mess um and then I've got some bits to take in the car with me as well so I think we've got three different dresses here and then different accessories and bags as well so yeah that's what i'm going to be doing today and then later on we're going to the cinema so i will try and vlog as much as i can apart from taking out for content i'm still planning on having a semi chill day right we've just gotten back and had lunch and i thought i would end this vlog here as yeah, I feel like I filmed quite a lot this week and I'm literally just going to be chilling out now. My parents are coming around for a cup of tea and then we're going to go see Doctor Strange, which I'm so excited. So I might insert a few clips if I do get any other bits later. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this vlog and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.